Hello out there, you. In this video, we're going to figure out what the optimal consumption bundle is when we've got some indifference curves, which are perfect complements. So here, uh, this practice problems they've already drawn out, these are the indifference curves. We know that they're perfect complements because they're in this perfect L shape right here. Um, more is better. Okay, and so I can see all of this, and in, in other words, this, this indifference curve is better than this one, this one is better than this one, so on and so forth. Um, but any point along this indifference curve is of equal um, utility or, or satisfaction. Okay, so the problem, first problem here from Sparty's indifference curve, we can determine that Sparty is indifferent from having 12 pizza and 26 soda and what so what we're going to do is we're going to find that point right here what this represents these are all the sodas so two four six say you know, so this represents the soda consumption and then this represents pizza consumption so let's find 12 pizzas so right here and 26 sodas so we're going to follow that right up here so that's this point right here okay and so we want to find which one of these is indifferent. Well, any any of the bundles along this indifference curve are uh, of equal satisfaction or we're indifferent towards them. So 14 pizza and 24 soda. 14 pizza and 24 soda. No, that would be on a, that one would be right here. And that's on a different indifference curve. It's on a further out indifference curve. So can't be that one. Then we're going to go 16 pizzas, 10 sodas. 16 pizza. 10 sodas, that's this one right here. That's on a different indifference curve also. 24 pizzas and six sodas. That's this one. Uh, and if you follow that down, it's that one. They're on the same indifference curve. So that would be the right answer there. Suppose Sparty has an income of $24 and P, the P pizza, price of pizza is $2. Price of soda is $2. Draw this budget line, okay? so. Uh, the budget line is, it represents the amount of pizza and soda that we could get with $24 when the prices are $2 each. So what that means is we could get 12 uh, soda. So here I'll just draw a dot right here. So you get, what the formula for this is, is income over price. Okay, so M is income. So 12 and then also 12. Okay, and then if they did uh, two less sodas, then they could get four pizza. And if they did uh, four less sodas, then they could get, uh, let me think about that. So this would be spending $6 and then $8. So that one's in the wrong spot. Okay, so this would actually be right here. This would be right here, this would be right here, this would be right here, so on and so forth. So we could just draw a line right there. Okay, so that's the budget constraint. From this, we can see the opportunity cost. Okay, so just give up over gain here, and so that would be the formula. So uh, it's just the rise over run or the slope of this line, and so that would be one. Okay. Uh, one more slice of pizza costs you one soda because you're going, you're giving up two to gain two. So that would be two over two and that would be one. Okay. At this income and prices. Okay. So we're just going to go, what you want to look for for this when you're looking graphically, is you want to go to where the budget constraint is, is tangent to the further out indifference curve. So here I'll zoom in a little bit here. So just follow this here. Um, there's a point here. There's a point here. And there's a point here. So this point and this point are on these inside indifference curve. And then this point is on the further out. So in other words, this is the best that we can do with uh, $24. Now, if this changes or the price changes, then it will shift our budget constraint in, in or out. But in this case, this is the answer. So we can get four sodas and eight pizzas, and that's the optimal consumption bundle and that's how to figure it out with perfect complements.